After a research, we found that Pampasa scored 3.9 million votes in Northwest alone, according to Buba Galadima. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Buba Galadima, a chieftain of a new Nigeria's People's Party, has alleged that his party's candidate in the 2023 presidential election. Rabi Yukwankwasu received a higher number of votes than what was reported by the Independent Electoral by the Independent Electoral Commission, INEC. During an interview with Channel TV, Buba Galadim stated that while Patin and his candidate chose not to challenge the election results, they conducted research on it and found out that Kwankwasu, who was announced to have scored around 1.4 million votes in the election, actually scored 3.9 million votes in the Northwest alone. He also added that their candidates in Boucher and Nasra were given fewer votes than they actually scored. According to Garadima, you know that there are a lot of things going under the carpet. After our research of this election, you know we didn't go to court. We found out that even in the Northwest alone, Kwankwasu scored about 3.9 million votes which had not been accounted for. And in Bauchi, when we went to court, all the two major parties connived to make sure they rigged us out. A recount was made, and in that recount, it was discovered that NNPP had 167,000 extra votes that had not been accounted for. In Nasarawa, our candidate went to court. They gave him 11,000 votes, and we discovered that he scored 117,000 votes. You can also see that there are lots of issues in Kano, but that is a subject we will address on its own when it resurfaces because some people felt that oxygen must be removed from Kwankwasu's nose, else if he survived politically, they are in trouble in 2027. Now, the issue of transparency and then um, the issue of um, allowing things to run naturally. I don't know why. I don't know why it has gone far. It has gone far. You see, this particular election, this just concluded election that happened in February, it's a part of, as in, it took a lot from Nigerians. I'm telling you. A lot of people stood in the line. A lot of people did a lot of things. They did their homework. They did their background. Some marketed like they never before. Some came and they were all about the election as if they were actually paid to do so. You get? And then, it is painful that after all that time, after you have a project you so much believe in, you put so much on the line for that particular project, you invest your time, your resources, people invest, you know, in, and at the end of the day, it just falls to the ground. And apart from it falling to the ground, you get to find out that it's falling to the ground, is not falling to the ground naturally, that somebody actually made it like that. It's painful. I am telling you, no jokes, very painful. Well, then we say, waiting don't go, don't go, oh, till law, it has gone. Without what you are saying now is going to be making sense. It doesn't make sense. Yes, it's hot, it's hotful, it's painful, but waiting don't go. Eh? Permit me to use the word, oh, till law. Okay, your research has no constitutional relevance. Perhaps you counted them in your dreams. Mm. How many governorship elections did your party won? Or you are going to court and contest the outcome of a 2023 general election? Oh Lord, this is the type of research is Babu Garadema you have been doing during Bahari time. Today you said that tomorrow you utter it until the time that Allah shows you he make your impossible to be possible by his grace. I don't know if the Senator know the rules you play in Bahari's time. I believe he will follow your statement with extra cautions. I pray this time your yes should be yes, sir. Okay, you did not challenge it hoping to remember who gets one concern ministerial post. Well, Whatever it takes. Come to court and say it because they did not give people FCT minister. Okay, because they did not give you people FCT minister. Go and sit down, greedy people. Hmm. Okay. I need some I need someone to entice me better because I was I Fru Buhari was an MPP driver before politicians and their Buha. Me, I'm saying they are coming out to say they did well. Everybody is coming out to say they did well. Now I'm saying, okay, if everybody did well, who is now the kitchen? Okay. So it's actually third and Obi is fourth. Obi go, Obi then go explain to her, really. They said in Nasarawa and in Kano, 
and in just some few states. He concerned me because in the form say he confess when he comfort or they not so be fools like okay, not so be fools like you the form too. Baseless, you should have gone to court, but instead the principal directed to court a deal to become a minister and was disappointed in the end. What a shame. It seems Nigeria has more outside INEC officers than the officially mandated official. Then by time then by wasting our billions for INEC. My dear, you see eh? the INEC on. We have to find a way around it all. We have to find a way around it because because somebody says something that somebody says something like, see, if um what's it called INEC if there is there a way where as in INEC will not be how do I even put it? Is there a way where INEC will not be um as in the, the chairman of INEC will not be appointed? Is it possible as in they are neutral? They are neutral, neutral that see they can answer to anybody. You understand? Okay. Our leaders should stop defending their rights when they deprive the public of their rights. God will judge our leaders not only in Nigeria but in Africa as a whole. May God be merciful unto us. Okay. That is all he's called during the last election because he's not a politically recognized in other regions. That is why I'm saying people who are saying, oh, so Kwan was so scored this much. It is not in other regions now. For it to win an election, you have to score a particular um, what's the number of votes across across the region. They stole your own mandate too, or you're also the winner because we have three winners already. If you join it to be four winners already, good ones. <laughs> All right. Why not join the rest in court? Why now you say you saw you score three point nine million? My question is, who scored the highest votes? I beg me, gonna leave me. Kwang was the first Awosa man, better than his brother. Has it been that he stepped down for Atiku? Atiku could have won the election. Well, 